I'm told the dog was riddled with worms. Is that a common problem? It is. The dog was wormed at the first vaccination, which is a good time for it. They should be wormed every two weeks because they get roundworms from their mothers. It's not that anybody's done anything wrong, this just happens. Unfortunately, after that worming, Ace wasn't wormed again until he was sold. So he should yes, have been wormed again. You say yes, he was? Yes. Is that on a record or yeah. not? So on record. Now, you've got, and I want to be clear, for the purpose of the court, you've supplied me with the dog's medical record. Mm -hmm. Can I see that record, please, the original? Thank you very much. <coughs> Dr Victoria, do you have a copy of this? Yes, Judge, I do. Thank you very much. Everything looks fairly normal in terms of weight. Uh, the testicles of the dog had descended. Mm -hmm. Muzzle off. <laughs> and then, if we turn over the page, the next thing it says is, no more diarrhoea. What do you make of that note? I'm afraid it doesn't make sense, Judge, because the date on the bottom of this first sheet is the 10th of August when the wormer was dispensed for the owner to, um, or the breeder to, to use on the dog. And then it goes suddenly talking about diarrhoea when there's no, there's no connection. And there, unfortunately, there isn't a date on the second page. So we don't know when that was. Looking at this, would you agree with me? It looks like somebody has decided to cut the bottom of it off. That's what it looks like, Judge. Mm. Have you done that? No. Is this a complete and original record? Yeah. Did you cut the bottom of that record off before coming no. to court? No. Looks odd, doesn't it? It does. Thank you very much. Why does it look odd, Kevin? Too small. Too small? Have a look. You may not know what's happened here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this is your witness, Kevin. Hmm? Yeah. I can see a jagged like cut at the bottom of that piece of paper. What does it look like to you? Like it's been cut. With what? Scissors. No, I don't. <coughs> Kevin? Hmm? No, I haven't cut it. There's nothing there, what was on there, to be cut it's off. It's half the size. Now, it's very difficult to ask a gentleman about size, but trust me, <laughs> sir. Before coming to court, you cut that document, didn't you? There's nothing from the document while cut off. So, yes, you have cut that document, haven't you? Well, there's nothing from the bottom of it. You cut the document yeah. with scissors. And the bit that you cut off... But nothing on it. Nonsense. Where is that record? I don't, we don't have the record here. Well, it's not here. OK, good, not here. But we know it exists. Where is it? It's not here. Well, it's not here. Where is it? At home. At home where? Where at home? In a drawer? In a drawer. What drawer? <laughs> In the bedroom. The bedroom drawer. Left or right of the bed? <laughs> right. The right? Yes. What else is in the drawer? I'd rather not disclose what else is in the drawer. <laughs> but, um... Is it in a folder? What does it look like? It's in a folder. A folder? Yeah. What sort of folder? What's the colour of the folder? Black. The black folder. Is there a record, sir? Yes. Why didn't you bring it to court? Bearing in mind there's a dispute about who you were introduced and the number of events you've done, it's very easy to resolve because you kept a contemporary record which is in your drawer. Is there a record? Is there a record? It may not matter to your case. There's no record. Thank you very much. <laughs> you shouldn't have told me that there was, because that makes me distrust you. Now, the agreement we made for the loan of £3,000. Now, here's the thing. You accept you borrowed £1,000. You've yeah. accepted that to me. I borrowed £1,000, Judge Rinder. I'm an honest, decent woman. Why, then, does it say, plus the outstanding... 1500 that I borrowed in January. Just see, I saw this before. You told me that you have no memory of getting a further 500 pounds. Correct. Correct. You accepted taking the 1000. Correct. This isn't even from them. Black and white, clear as day. 
telling the truth to me. Saying that you borrowed 1,500. Now that you've seen this again and had an opportunity to walk out of the cul-de-sac of moron, <laughs> do you want to rethink your answer? Because it would be terribly unhelpful to your case. OK. And I think lots of your reply is on it. Wouldn't you like to rethink whether you received a further £500? Perhaps you've remembered it. OK. No, no. Not OK. Not OK. I asked you a question. The question was whether you borrowed a further £500. You stood there and you said no. No, Judge Render, I did not. When somebody says no, I take them at face value. It's a representation. I had this before. And I had a waft emanating from the bench over there. Do you understand the waft? Like a fart in a lift. <laughs> this isn't going to be resolved unless we're honest with each other. Be honest to me. Otherwise, do you understand the waft infects my judgment? Why have you said you borrowed £1,500 if you don't recall getting £500 in addition to the first £1,000? Or would you like to say, John Rinda, I wrote that because I remember getting £500. OK, I remember getting £500. And when I told you I didn't get that £500, I wasn't being entirely honest with you, Judge Rinder, but I am now, and I feel so much better about it. OK, you're right. Oh, I know I'm right. I'm always right. That's not the problem. <laughs> Now, just to be clear, whilst she's bringing that in, how did you prepare this document? Where does it come from? How did it come to be on this piece of paper? It came in an email. Right. And I copy and pasted it onto a Word document. Exactly verbatim. In other words, exactly as it was. You've just cut and pasted it yeah, yeah, onto a Word document. That's correct. From an email to you. And now this is just an email. To an extent. Very much. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. Now, Michelle, just come here for a second. So they give my handwriting. Just go and have a look at this. Do you recognise this mobile number? You just said to me that that's the one that you have got in touch with this gentleman? Uh, to be, it's not... I don't know numbers off the top of my head, but if that's on a piece of paper, then yes. Yes, Judge. Thank you very much. Mind handing it back? Thank you. Just an email. Thank you. Now, one of the difficulties here is that that mobile number mm -hmm. can be searched for and it does connect to somebody. Mm -hmm. Do you know who that person is? I don't, Judge. It's somebody at your house. So it's the wrong number. Can you explain that to me, sir? Then that, that's a misprint. So the evidence that you have that you have been, you would say, slandered, I have to rely on this piece of paper. There's two other photos that states from Dave specifically, slandering, telling me how I haven't paid um, my staff um, and a number of other things. Now, it seems to me that you're still working. Yep. It seems to me that despite all of this, Whatever has been on Facebook is sufficiently in the past that people are still correctly, in my view, prepared to employ you. What was Stephen's reaction to you? Uh, don't want nothing to do with it. Flush it down the toilet. Is that true or false? That's false, Judge. Did you suggest that Ashley should get an abortion? No, I didn't. I didn't know about it until the boy was two weeks old. Someone had told my Graham. brother, Graham, Graham, stand up again, please. You became aware that, according to Steve's reply, Stephen was not aware that he had become a father until two weeks after the baby had been born. <clears throat> you have some evidence that that's the case. What evidence do you have that that's the case? Um, just my word. A lady that knows Ashley came up to me and said, how would you feel if you was to be an uncle? 
And I looked at her kind of confused. I said, I'm my uncle already, what do you mean? She said, um, your brother slept with my friend and he has a son who's two weeks old. When you went to communicate that to Stephen, what was Stephen's reaction? Like, wow. With who? What, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Basically, where has this come from? Sorry, he's talking loads of <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Do you want to rephrase that? He's talking loads of rubbish, Judge. You tell me what happened, Ashley. Well, I told Stephen, like I said, the day after I found out I was pregnant, that I was having a baby. He said, I don't want nothing to do with it. You should feel like I flush it down the toilet. And I said to him, this baby's coming whether you like it or not, and you're its dad, and you can have as much or as little to do with it as, as you like. And he said, flush it down the toilet and whatnot. And I was quite upset about that, because I thought that was, you know, that's heartless. You know? Quite upset? I'd be furious. Yeah, but I just... I was more interested in looking after my child. I didn't really care for him. There was, like we said, it was very casual. There was no feelings. You know, it's not like I was in love with him or anything and he left me pregnant. Like, so I wasn't, I was like, well, I'm going to do it by myself. Whatever, I'll get on with it. When I had my first scan, I sent him a picture and he said, don't send me that rubbish. Um, I don't want nothing to do with it. Don't Just... message me again. Do you accept that you received yeah. that message? Yeah, I did receive a message of um, a picture scan. You must be a bit shocked there, aren't you, Graham? I certainly am. You now know, today, that your brother received a message with a scan from Ashley. In other words, he'd been aware that he was going to be a father months before. What do you think of that? I don't even know what to say right now, Judge. What was he doing, Graham? Lion. What was that, Graham? He's lying. Thank you, Graham. Do you sit down. You lied to me, Stephen. Why are you lying? To be honest, you know, with me being here right now in present in front of all these people and stuff, I'm very, very nervous. In other words, you're confused. I'm a bit nervous, and yeah. Graham, do you believe that? No. No. Thank you, Graham. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge render moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.